Hello everyone, this is Jacob. I wanted to let you know a quick disclaimer. There was supposed to be originally a POV on Spaceship Earth, but I couldn't do that because that ride shows my face. So yeah, other than that, enjoy the video. Hello everyone, and welcome to the Jacob Channel. And welcome to a, um, a special episode. Because today is our fifth day of my vacation diary and today we will be heading over to Epcot yes today we will be heading over to our fourth and final well not of the trip but the last one to try Disney Park at Disney World all right everyone it may not be really seeming that big or something like that but it's still worth get still worth a try all right everyone Let's go. Alright guys, so now we have arrived at Disney World. So this time I filmed the left side of the gate, and at that point you saw Mickey instead of Minnie. So yeah, let's head over to Epcot. Alright guys, so we just arrived at Epcot. You can see that giant ball right there? So, the first ride we will be having two. Everyone, so we just found... This water, this fountain actually does some type of water show. I was not expecting that. But anyway, so around the world. As you can see, this is the land pavilion. But this is interestingly enough an indoor area of the park. Alright, let's we are just about to do our design station and test track. Let's begin. <laughs> Go. Continue, I What if it shows my face?
car to to a Chevrolet. Now it's time to go to sign and motion stick. experience that any astronaut candidate will ever have. Before you decide if it's right for you, let me introduce you to your spacecraft. The X-2 Space Shuttle. It's powered by solid hydrogen and can accelerate from zero to 6,000 in 60 seconds. So when you hear the words go for launch, you'll definitely want to hang on. Now you've already been organized into teams and soon each of you will be assigned a position. Navigator, pilot, commander, or engineer. The success of your mission will depend on all of you working together as a team. I'll be your Capcom, and in a few minutes, I'll give you your specific assignments. But first, our flight director has some safety instructions for you. Lieutenant? Remember the team number you're standing on. When the doors in front of you open, you will be directed to a flight station with that number on it. When you get there, please stand on the circles. During your Orange Team More Intense training mission, you will be enclosed inside X-2 flight simulators that produce deep space flying conditions such as turbulence and G-forces. Those who are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators, or spinning should bypass this experience. As you can see, astronaut flight training isn't like anything you've ever experienced before. It is intense, and if you would like to opt out, just ask any member of the ISTC crew for directions. As for the rest of you, report for your pre-flight briefing. It's good time. Do more intense training. If you are prone to motion sickness or made uncomfortable by enclosed dark spaces, simulators, or spinning, you may exit the flight training area now. Ask a uniformed crew member for directions to the green team, less intense training area. Congratulations, team. You have been selected to train for a mission to Mars. Teams are awaiting your arrival at the landing site here at Ballas Marineris. Your mission is to get to that landing site. Your flight path to Mars will take you around the moon before lunar gravity assist. But even with that slingshot, your trip will take three months. 
so we'll have to put you into hyperspeed. Hypersleep activated. Don't worry, it'll only seem like a second or two to you. I'll give you a wake up call when you get to Mars. Okay, now listen up. Here are your assignments. Navigator, you'll fire the thrusters for lunar orbit insertion and for descent to the surface of Mars. Pilot, on my signal, I'll need you to trigger the second stage rocket. You'll also deploy the shield. Commander, you will be responsible for first stage separation and activating manual control for landing. Engineer, when it's bedtime, you will activate hypersleep. You will also extend the wings for landing. Don't worry. When it's time to push the buttons, they will light up. Then I'll give you the go. One last thing. In the event of an emergency landing, there are control sticks at every crew position. Okay, Any final instructions for our new kids? When the flight bay doors open, follow the markings on the floor to your capsule. Then move all the way across, taking your crew position in the cockpit and stow all personal items in the compartment in front of you. Then reach up and pull down your restraint. Now listen carefully. Leaning forward, closing your eyes, or looking left or right during your flight could disorient you. So keep your head back against the headrest. Keep your eyes open at all times, and focus straight ahead, even if you start to feel disoriented. They're all yours, Capcom. Well, I guess that's everything. Good luck, Mars team. You are on the clock. This. So I press one of these buttons right here. This is what I have to do. So I press the upload button. And it goes up there. Alright guys, so we just went on test track and mission space. Those were both really good rides. Like if you come to this place, I recommend it. Now, onto our next ride, which is Electric Umbrella, which actually isn't a ride, it's actually a, a restaurant. But the reason why I'm filming here is because of this trash can. This may make me a, this may make me a, look a little bit weird at first, but wait till I actually push the door. Cool. Thank you. <laughs> wow, just weird. What's even weirder about this thing is that this is the only trash can in the entire resort to actually do this. So, so, yeah. Anyways, if you want to look for this trash can, look, go into one of the entrances of the electric umbrella and then look for this menu right here that's off to the side of this entrance and then you'll find this trash can. One more push. What's our score? 210. Wow, impressive. All right guys, so now we are about to go in Spaceship Earth, which I'm going to do a POV video on, so. If you want to see the POV video right now, click the card in the top right hand corner. Other than that, let's go. This is also a ride where I do a POV video on, so. Let's uh, so click the card in the top right hand corner if you want to see the POV video right now. Other than that, let's go. All right, guys. So we just went on. So we just went on the living with the land ride, and that ride is just like okay. Like this isn't really anything that much special about it. But next ride, imagine a journey into the imagination with figments, which I'm also going to do a card POV on, a card POV on, on the top right hand corner. All right, everyone. Let's All right, go. guys. So we just wrote that journey into imagination with figments, and to be and probably got to be the most boring dark ride I've ever been on yet. Like it was just boring. It didn't make any sense. Yes, I don't recommend it. Anyways, let's head on to our next one. American Adventure. However, this one I'm pretty sure they don't allow any recording inside, so I'm I'm not. Allowed. So I'm not gonna film, but I'll tell you how it was when I get on. Look at this. There's a. This is made out of a real tree, and is. And look at the projection it's doing. That's gonna be a better view. Right, right here. See that little light upside? That's where the projection is. So we just saw the American Adventure. That show was actually pretty good. Like. It was interesting, but it also felt too long since I felt like I was trapped in a dark room. 
Other than that, time to head to our next ride, which is tour, starring three Caballeros, which I'm going to do a POV on. So click the top right hand corner. Okay, so now we are leaving at Cot. So let's return to the hotel. All right, guys. So we just got more frogs, and look. Yesterday we got a, a medium sized and a small sized. Today is the exact opposite because we got a medium sized and a large sized. Wow. <laughs> Interesting. And cute at the same time. Anyways, to the out. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes our day here at Disney's Epcot. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe as well as hitting the notification icon and checking out the other videos I have on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out yesterday's video where we went to where we went to Disney's Magic Kingdom. Don't forget to tune in for tomorrow where we will be heading over to our first Universal Park on the trip, Universal Studios Orlando. Alright everyone, see you tomorrow. Uh, oh, and I almost forgot about the Grand Fiesta Tour thing review. Well, well, sorry I forgot to tell you about this, but here's the thing. This ride isn't really the worst or the best. So far, I put this right in the middle on the, according to the rides we've been on Epcot. Like, that ride is just mediocre. So, it should, I'm not really going to recommend or not recommend that it's going on this ride. This ride can basically be your choice. Other than that, yeah, see you tomorrow. Alright everyone, thank you for watching. We hope you enjoyed the video. Be sure to check out the POVs on this video and and check out the other videos on my YouTube channel. Don't forget to check out my previous NVD video, the Oh the Magic Kingdom, and then we'll see you tomorrow. And I also wanted to let you know that that there's an upcoming episode that's going to be a surprise. Alright everyone, see you tomorrow.